Nutrition in Plants All living organisms need energy to grow and carry out life processes. They obtain this energy from the food they eat. Let us see how plants obtain the energy. Green plants are self-sufficient. They can make their own food through the process of photosynthesis using carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil. This mode of nutrition, where green plants make food themselves, is called autotrophic nutrition. Green plants are therefore called autotrophs. Let us now see how plants manufacture their food. The cells of green leaves and young stems of plants contain numerous green structures called chloroplasts. The chloroplasts are green because of the presence of a green pigment called chlorophyll. It is chlorophyll that traps energy from sunlight. Leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air through tiny pores called stomata. These pores are located on the underside of the leaves. The water is absorbed from the soil by the root hairs present in roots. Using the energy from the sun, a chemical reaction takes place in the green parts of the plant, in which carbon dioxide and water are converted into food in the form of glucose. Oxygen is released in the process. Since the synthesis of food occurs in the presence of sunlight, this process is called photosynthesis. Animals, non-green plants, fungi and bacteria, etc. cannot prepare their own food. They depend directly or indirectly on green plants for their nutrition. This mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition. Animals and non-green plants are known as heterotrophs. Some non-green plants, called parasites, live in or on other living plants and derive their nutrition from them. The plant from which a parasite gets its food is called a host. Mistletoe is one such parasitic plant. There are some insectivorous plants such as the Venus flytrap and pitcher plant. These plants consume insects to derive nutrition. In the pitcher plant, the leaf becomes modified to form a pitcher-like structure with a lid. When an insect enters in it, the lid closes to trap the insect, which now gets entangled in the hair and is slowly digested. Another category of non-green plants derive their food from the dead and decaying plants and animals. These plants secrete digestive juices on the dead matter, which converts the solid matter into a liquid. This mode of nutrition is known as saprotrophic nutrition. Fungi and bacteria use this mode of nutrition and are so known as saprotrophs or saprophytes. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.